Happy Pi Day to you. Happy Pi Day to you. Happy Pi Day, everybody. Happy Pi Day to you. Hey, everybody. It's Doc here. So for my last math lesson, I wanted to do something really special. Now, some of you that know what I'm talking about, you might be thinking, it's not Pi Day. Pi Day is in March. I know, but I'm not teaching you in March, and I really love Pi Day. So I wanted to share it with you. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Pi Day. What is Pi, first of all? This is the symbol for Pi. Right here. It's kind of fun to make. So this is a symbol for pi. And how you find pi is you can take the circumference of any circle. Circumference means all the way around. Just measuring all the way around. You can take the circumference of any circle and then divide it by the diameter, which is straight across. Dividing it by the diameter and you will get the number 3.14. If you do it correctly, there's always a trick. So, what, what happens is no matter how big or how small your circle is, you always get the same thing. So this is why we're able to use pi in a lot of different formulas. When you get into some of the older grade mathematics, and you learn that, that's where it came from. So, I'm going to show you today how you can find pi plate that I got when I was in China. Don't worry, I wasn't in China during coronavirus, okay? So this was the year before and the year before that actually. So, we're going to take a look at this plate and we're going to try to find pi. So what I'm doing and what I gave to you is you have a string in your supplies. It looks like this. So I want you to pull it out. Yeah. So you should have a ruler and a string. Now, you don't have to do this at the same time I'm doing it, but later on I want you to try. So here we go. We have our plate and we want to find pi. So what I have to do first is I have to measure around the outside of the plate. So I'm going to take my string, if you look up here, I take my string, and I'm going to go all the way around. Okay, coming around, coming around, coming around. All right, so here we go. Right about here. Right about here. So I'm going to mark it with my marker. Right here, okay? So now I need to measure this string, and that can be a little bit tricky because uh, the string's kind of long. So depending on how big your circle is, it might make it a little difficult to uh, find the um, length of your string. Now, if you have a, a measuring tape at home, that might be a little better. I have my ruler, and I notice that it's longer then my ruler. Oh my, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to make sure that I have it right at where it starts at the line on the ruler. Okay, and I see that it's at least one of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this end right here, take off my ruler, and then start again. Let's see if we can do this correctly. I'm going to go a little bit further. And look, it's that far again. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to mark it right here. And then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure the amount that's left. And I'm going to be very careful how I place these. That it's actually three inches. Exactly, really, three inches. Well, that was convenient. We didn't have to worry about fractions. So now I need you to tell me, if I have two of these, which would be two feet and three inches, how much is that? Let's figure that out. So, we know that one foot is 12. 
we know that the second foot is also 12. And then we know that we have three inches. So we're going to add all these together. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 27 inches here for around our plate. Now the next thing we're going to do is what? What did I say before? We have to measure straight across the middle of the circle. So we're going to take our circle, which is my plate that I love so much that I got from China. Got it at this school. And then I'm going to measure straight across the center. Notice I put my line that's right here on the edge. I need to be as specific as possible because if I go to the end, really this end is not part of my foot. This first line is right here. So I want to put my line on the edge and then I'm going to measure across. It looks like probably eight and a quarter. Maybe for those of you that watched the other day, we can count one sixteenth, two sixteenth, three sixteenths. Maybe it's three sixteenths. Looks a little closer to three sixteenths to me. So let's do it. Eight and three sixteenths. Ooh, that's a big one. So eight and three sixteenths. What am I going to do with that? Well, that I'm going to want to make into a decimal. And since today is our last day, I'm going to let you use a calculator. If you don't have a calculator, you can use a phone. So, 3 divided by 16 will give me my decimal. So I get 0 0.1875. So my number is actually 8.1875. Okay, 8.1875. All right, now hopefully you can see those. I'm going to make it a little bit darker with this marker. Darker with the marker. <laughs> Rhymes. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to find if we're close to pi. Let's see. So I'm going to take my 27, which is my circumference, which is all the way around the circle. And I'm going to divide it by 8.1875. Let's see what I get. All right, take my calculator again. And I'm going to put in 27 divided by 8.1875. Let's see what we get. See if we get close to pi. 3.297. Not too bad. 3.297. Let's write that down. Now, you might be thinking, how come we didn't get exactly pi? Why didn't we get exactly 3.14? Well, here's the reason. See this string? It's a little bit not the best tool in the world to use. Okay? So it's hard to be really accurate with it. So that's one of the reasons that it was difficult for us to do. Alright, so let's try another thing i gave all of you a coin that says a kindness coin and i gave this to you because you all have been so great at attending the classes and attending the math classes so i wanted to give you a kindness coin now what i want you to do with it after we measure it for pi is i want you to when somebody's kind to you you give it to them so you can pass it along but first, let's see if we can find pi using the kindness coin. Okay, I'm going to turn my paper over and start again. Here I have my coin. I am going to measure all the way around. Hopefully I'll have a little easier time with the smaller one. All the way around. And let's see, try to be as accurate as I can. All right, right here, I'm going to mark it with the marker so that I can measure it. 
Okay, now let's measure it. Okay, so let's see what we have. Our kindness coin. Remember, you got to be careful that you start at that first line on your ruler because that's really the beginning, not necessarily at the end of your ruler. Some people get tri tripped up with that. So here we have at the very end here. All right. And I'm going to go to my line. And I get, you see right there? It looks like seven eighths. For those of you that did rulers with me, four and seven eighths will be right in the center of that. Seven eighths. This is an eighths mark. So, four and seven eighths. Now I need to go across my coin. Again, starting at the edge, and I have these smiley faces on here that can help me find the middle of my coin. That's a tricky part. All right, we're looking like it is one and a half. So my diameter, my circumference is four and seven eighths. My diameter is 1.5, one and one half. So now that I have seven eighths, I have to make it to a decimal. So again, I'm gonna take my calculator, and take 7 divided by 8. And that is 875. So I have 4.875. Now let's see how close we got to finding pi with our coin. Okay, so I'm going to take my circumference, which is 4.875, and I'm going to divide it by my diameter, which is 1.5. Okay, here's my calculator. Four point eight seven five divided by one point five. Let's see how we did. Three point two five. So we're still a little bit high. Three point two five. Hmm. So I wonder what else we could measure. Hmm. Well, here's what I did. I walked around my yard and tried to find out what is the biggest circle that I have. And you know what I found? My pole. Okay, so let's see if this works for large circles. The largest circle that I could find in my house is my swimming pool. So I'm going to get in and see if we can get pie that way also. Okay, ready? Okay, so, and I try to stay in the middle, I don't know. Almost there. Way to here. Hold that right there. Don't let go of that. All right, now, before I measure it, I need to figure out what my diameter is too. So while I'm in the pool, I might as well do that. Uh, Will, you want to get in the center? Yeah. Over there. Okay, this looks like the middle a rough measurement. Okay, now when I bought the pool, they told me it was a 26 round. We'll see if they're right. 
Okay, so now the important thing is we need to measure our string. So I started it here. You can see I have it staked in the ground with the with the measuring tape. And we're going to follow this all the way down. We have a 100 foot measuring tape, so that's good. And get down to the edge here. Looks like we are at about 84 and we'll say 10 inches. 84 and 10 inches. All right, so the next thing we got to do is I'm going to get out of these wet clothes and then we'll measure, see how close we are. Whew, okay, well, that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that. I changed my clothes and got back into something dry, but let's see how close we were to getting pi. So, we have the circumference of our circle when we went all the way around the pool was 84 feet and 10 inches. Hmm, we might have to do something with that 10 inches. So 84 feet and 10 inches, and then when we divided and went straight across the center of the pool, do you remember how many it was? It was 27. Now, the 10 inches is the tricky part because it's not 0.10. You have to take your inches, which is 10, and divide it by how many inches are in a foot. And that's 12. So we're going to take 10, divide it by 12, and see what we get. We got 8.3 repeating, okay? 8.3 repeating. So we're going to take 84.3. Repeating. Okay? Now we can find our circumference because we're going to take that and divide it by, oop, this should say pi. Ooh, I made a mistake. Okay, so now we're going to take that 84.8333333 divided by 27 and we get, oh! We got 3.14197. How about that? That is pretty close to pi. I'm pretty excited. So there you go. So I want you to go around and find some circles at your house and measure the outside. You can use the string that I gave you or another string and then measure straight across the middle Divide the two and tell me how close did you get to Pi? Well, it was really great seeing you and maybe on Pi Day, which is March 14th because of 3.14, maybe I'll get to see you again and we can sing some Pi Day songs. This is Doc. Peace out.